In today's video, I will teach you how to create a glass morphism effect in PhotoP. Let's get started. First, get to PhotoP and open the image where you want to add the glass effect. Now select the rectangle tool from the toolbar and draw a shape that you want for the glass effect. You can hold down the shift key while drawing if you want a perfect square or an even shape. Then drag the dots on the corners of the shape to round the edges as desired. Then disable the outline option. Now use the move tool to position the shape and use the free transform tool or simply press Ctrl T if you need to resize or rotate it. Now hold Ctrl and click on the shape's layer thumbnail to select its outline. Now click on your image layer in the layers panel and right click and choose convert to smart object. Then go to filter, blur, then Gaussian Blur, and set the blur radius to your liking. Different images require different values, so check the preview for your ideal blur level. Then click OK when satisfied. Then right-click the shape layer and select Blending Options. Then set the fill opacity to 0%. Still in the Blending Options, enable Stroke. Then set the fill type to Gradient and choose a black to white gradient. Then set the left color to white and the right color to light gray. Then adjust the angle to set the direction of the gradient and fine-tune the opacity to get the desired intensity of the stroke. Now enable the gradient overlay. Then set the left color to light gray with an opacity of around 25% and the right color to white with the opacity of around 10%. Then adjust the angle for your preferred effect and enable Dither for a smoother gradient. Then set the opacity to around 30%. And once you're satisfied, you can now save your work. Simply go to File, then Export As, then save your image to your preferred file format. And you're done! If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.